एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री विच इज एयर पॉल्यूशन सो टिल नाउ वॉट वी हैव लर्न सोर्सेज ऑफ एयर पॉल्यूटन विच वर इन गैशियस स्टेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सोर्सेज ऑफ एयर पॉल्यूटन विच आर इन पर्टिक्युलेट मैटर फॉर्म विच मीन्स दे कैन बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ सॉलिड पार्टिकल्स और इन फॉर्म ऑफ सस्पेंडेड पार्टिकल्स इन एयर ना these are small solid particles and liquid droplets present in the atmosphere in fairly large numbers and sometimes pose serious air pollution problems the size of particulate ranges from 0.02 micron to 500 micron now what are these air pollutants so aerosol dust smog fumes mist are particulate form of air pollutant so what are aerosol these includes all airborne suspensions of solid or liquid particles smaller than 1 micrometer so now what is dust it consists of small solid particles size is 1 to 200 micrometer and are generated by material crushing grinding or blasting what is smoke it consists of fine solid particle whose size is 0.1 to 1 micrometer resulting from the incomplete combustion of organic particles like coal wood tobacco or other chemical process fumes these are fine solid particles whose size is 0.1 to 1 micrometer formed by the condensation of vapors of solid materials what is mist it consists of liquid droplets formed by the condensation of vapor in the atmosphere are released from industrial operation so these are all known as particulate matter and they have different sizes of pollutants what is fog it is the mist it is made up of water droplets whose concentration is high and dense enough to obscure the vision then the mist is called fog what is fly ash this consists of finely divided non combustible particles present in the gases arising from fuel combustion what is soot so incomplete combustion of carbon containing material release carbon particles so that is known as soot so we have learned different air pollutants which are in form of particulate matter so these pollutants are mostly released from volcanic eruption dust storm spraying of soils by ocean fly ash from combustion of fossil fuel smoke from vehicles mining agriculture burning so these all particulate matter are released from these activities so what is the effect of particulate matter to us or to the environment so health effects of particulate less than 10 micrometer can enter deep into the lungs and may also get into the blood stream it can cause problems like irritation asthma chronic bronchitis and other lung diseases mostly by particulate air pollutant the respiratory system is affected and it can cause many diseases which are related to respiratory tract so now particulate accelerates corrosion of metal damages building paints etc aerosols like fluorocarbons nitrogen oxide sulfur oxide released from emission from jet and supersonic planes deplete the ozone layer in the higher atmosphere dust coating on leaf affects photosynthesis and reduces plant growth fly ash reduces ph balance and potability of water metal dust containing heavy metals and cotton dust may also cause respiratory problems all these air pollutants are creating lot of problem in the environment now effect of air pollution on human health so carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide combine with hemoglobin to form carboxy hemoglobin which reduces oxygen carrying capacity of blood so we all know that if carbon monoxide or nitrogen oxide increases in the atmosphere they will react with hemoglobin first rather than oxygen reacting with hemoglobin that can cause reduction of oxygen in human body now oxides of nitrogen and oxides of sulfur cause irritation to eyes throat and nose they can cause disease like asthma and bronchitis 
pollen grains can initiate asthmatic attack secondary pollutants like o3 and pan produced by hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxide result in the formation of photochemical smog which can cause irritation to eyes nose throat and respiratory disease some aromatic hydrocarbons may also cause cancer exposure to dust smoke smog and soot may include several respiratory disease like asthma bronchitis and lung cancer so what is happening majorly due to air pollution the respiratory tract of human body is affected and that causes disease like asthma and bronchitis in human body heavy metals like lead may cause poisoning effect on nervous system and damage the kidney and vision problem nickel particulates in tobacco smoke result in respiratory damage Radioactive substances causes lung disease and affect kidney, liver, brain and sometimes may also cause cancer. Atmospheric dust containing silica may cause silicosis. So this is the effect of air pollution on human health. It can create problem in kidney, it can create problem in vision, irritation of eye and throat, asthma, bronchitis, these all disease may be caused by air pollution now effect of air pollution on plant and vegetation so air pollution is not only affecting human beings but it is also affecting the plants and vegetables in our surrounding air pollutants affect plants by entering through stoma leaf pores through which gases diffuses and destroy chlorophyll and affect photosynthesis Pollutants also erode wax coating of the leaves called cuticle. Cuticle prevents excessive water loss and damage from the disease. Pest, drought and frost. Damage to leaf structure cause dropping of leaves. Particulate like dust, fog, soot deposition on plant leaves block stoma and affect the rate of transpiration. So air pollution is also affecting plants and vegetation by destroying the cuticle resulting into dropping of leaves by destroying chlorophyll ultimately affecting photosynthesis process so air pollution is affecting plants and vegetation in a very higher rate so now effect of air pollution on property and material so2 in the presence of oxygen moisture is converted into h2so4 acid you know how acid is harmful to the environment Deposition of this acid on metal parts of building, roofs, railway tracks, metal on bridges causes corrosion. H2SO4 acid deposition reacts with limestone, metal and other building material to cause deterioration and disfigure the building material. So acid H2SO4 or nitric acid is affecting the environment and the property of material in a very bad way. Pollutants like Sulfur dioxide, ozone, hydrogen sulfide and aerosol damage protective coating and paint of the surface. Damage of textile dyes and textile fibers is caused by SOX, NOX and O3. Ozone and PAN cause cracking of rubber tires and various form of electric insulation. Deterioration of leather and paper due, due to sulfuric acid decomposition. Soiling increases cost of cleaning shirts and other wares windows building surfaces so air pollution is affecting the property and material in a very bad way it causes corrosion it decreases the quality of that material that's why it is very very harmful now how air pollution is affecting the climate so this is also one of the very major concern delhi you can see because of smog visibility reduced that result into more car accident that result into stopping of school for some days so air pollution is affecting us in a very bad way and as more and more smog is created in the environment it affects the human health also by causing several respiratory disease like asthma and bronchitis and the particulate air pollutant which are present in the atmosphere is also affecting us by causing several kidney problems vision problem asthma bronchitis lung disease these all problems are created by air pollution 
So now how air pollution is affecting the climate? Due to man-made activities like industrialization, automobiles, deforestation, concentration of CO2 and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere will increase. So you also know that if the air pollution increases in the atmosphere, if the amount of carbon dioxide increases in the atmosphere, it causes greenhouse effect resulting into increase of temperature in our surrounding causes global warming. About 50% of greenhouse effect may be attributing to CO2 which results in the increase of temperature of earth. The increase in temperature causes the melting of ice caps and glaciers. So by increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by increasing the temperature the ice caps and glaciers will melt will increase the sea level in our surrounding. As the sea level increases, it may cause flooding also in our surrounding. So these are the problems created by air pollution. The thinning of ozone layer in the stratosphere by the action of aerosol will increase the penetration of harmful ultraviolet rays to the earth. And this will cause blindness, sunburn, inactivation of proteins in RNA and DNA. So when the ozone layer is thinned because of the air pollution created by us, the ultraviolet rays will directly hit the earth's surface. As it directly hits the earth's surface, it affects human beings by causing cancer in us, skin cancer in us and other problems like blindness, cataract, these all are caused because ultraviolet rays will directly hit the earth's surface if the ozone layer is thinned due to air pollution and it also affects our genes. So it is very very important to control air pollution. So the effect of air pollution on aesthetic beauty. What we see in our surrounding our nature is very beautiful. So how air pollution is affecting the beauty in our surrounding. The gardens, the trees, the greenery around us is affected due to air pollution. How? So the most noticeable effect of air pollution on properties of atmosphere is reduction in visibility. As I told you earlier smog reduces the visibility which may lead to safety hazard that may cause several car accidents because you cannot see. So visibility is reduced by absorption and scattering of light by airborne particles from 0.1 to 1 micrometer size. Industrial and automobile emission, sewage and carbon emit foul odors causing further loss of aesthetic beauty. So if you go to some area and you don't have a pleasant smell there, you feel irritated there and you will not like to be there at that place. That's why it is reducing the aesthetic beauty because you won't like to be there in that atmosphere if it's bad smell all around you. So it is very important to reduce air pollution. So the factors affecting air pollutants are metrological parameters, topographical features, characteristics of pollutants, mode of release of pollutants. So if the wind speed is very high that means pollutants are also moving very high. If the direction is towards north, then the pollution mostly will be towards north area. If the humidity is more, it can cause more respiratory disease. So these are some factors on which air pollutants depend. Now they also depend on topographical features. For example, unevenness of landforms and barriers like mountain and valley cause air pollution characteristics of pollutants so if the size of air pollutant is more then it can cause different kind of disease if the size is small then it can cause different kind of disease it affects us depending on the size also so different types of pollution are caused according to the size mode of release of pollutants so if the pollutants are released continuously that means they are continuously creating pollution in the atmosphere from single source or multiple source so if there are too many industries in that area that causes more air pollution and if there is a single source then it causes lesser amount of air pollution from point source or area source so if it is from point source we can easily control air pollution so if it's area source it's very difficult to decrease air pollution so, so these are all factors which are affecting air pollution Metrological parameters, topographical features, characteristics of pollutants and mode of release. According to that, we have to control air pollution. Thank you for watching this video and hope you learned about air pollution.